Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in this video I'll be showing you how to arrange chocolate petals directly onto a cake surface. I've had a few people find it hard to build a flower separately, so this is a far easier option to do. I'm going to start by showing you how I assembled my cake layers. I have a six inch chocolate cake, which I simply drizzle with simple sugar syrup with a hint of coffee, and I sandwich them together with chocolate buttercream. The layers are trimmed down to about one and a half inches in height. So I just thought I'd show you this. It's a very simple naked cake with no fuss on the sides. So this is my cake surface and I've chilled this for around 10 minutes so that the surface is a little firm. I'm going to be arranging a chocolate peony onto this surface. So check out my video linked on how I made the petals. I've bagged the chocolate buttercream that I use for the cake and this will be my glue. And I start by arranging my petals. I only pipe a small dot onto the cake and then press the petal over it. The more icing you use, the more height you'll get for your flower. As I add more petals, I'm overlapping the next petal over the last. I have about seven petals on the outer rim. The best part of assembling onto the cake surface is the flexibility of moving and tweaking the petals around. And you'll see me do this throughout the application. Once I've applied all my petals and I've tweaked them to my liking, I spin the cake around to make sure the flower looks good from all angles. The next step is to apply the inner rim of petals. I'm adding five here. I again pipe a small dot of buttercream and apply the smaller petal. I tweak them as I go along and any excess buttercream can easily be wiped up. Once all the petals have been applied, I take time to rearrange any that are out of place and I give the cake a spin also, just to make sure that the petals look good at all angles. For the centre of this flower, I'm simply just piping a large dot into the middle of the peony and I'm adding some silver dragees and some sugar. And you can change this up to any kind of sprinkles that suit you. The final touch is to add some gold edible luster dust to highlight the flower. And this really is the final result. As you can see, it's a really easy way to create your flower directly onto your cake surface. And you can use many of the flower petals from my past videos and apply them the very same way. There's flexibility for movement, and even if you have a few mistakes, you can start over any time. Well, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Please be sure to subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching.